Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thanks to all of the witnesses for being here. Um, you know, one of my top priorities in the last Congress was the implementation of hyperbaric oxygen therapies for, for veterans. And I included language in the bill, the, the, um, the Hannon bill, that we've been talking about and we'll be talking about in the next uh, group as well. And I'm just going to give you a few of the highlights of, of the bill. It, it authorizes the Secretary of the VA to enter into public-private partnership, partnerships to research the effectiveness of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. It requires the VA to use an objective test to measure the effectiveness of, of HBOT, and it commissions a comprehensive review and study of HBOT, both within the VA and with outside organizations. And this study would be completed with a recommendation from the VA about the effectiveness of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And I've, this is something I've talked to the Secretary about uh, both before his uh, confirmation, after his confirmation, and during the, the hearing. Um, and and it, it means a great deal to me. Now, through the law that I've talked about, we've, we've provided the VA these authorities related to HBOT, but it can only work, obviously, if uh, the VA actually utilizes the authorities and cooperates in the research and the partnerships that have been authorized. Uh, now, I've seen real benefits to this innovative therapy. I, I've seen, I've met dozens of veterans that have used it, as well as athletes and others. And I just want to get an update maybe from you, Dr. Carroll, uh, what you know about um, the legislation and, and where the VA might be in that process. And probably even more importantly, frankly, get your um, views, of just uh, your experiences, if you've ob observed any uh, HBOT, um, HBOT users, patients, and uh, circumstances, and, and, and what you might know about it. Uh, thank you, Senator, and uh, I appreciate the question. And, and as I said earlier, we're, we're uh, eager, uh, as always, to expand the frontier of, of what we know and what we can bring to bear for the benefit of uh, veterans in terms of their uh, care and treatment and moving forward in, the, in their lives. Uh, I, I think I, I know our, our teams ha, uh, that are working on the implementation of the Hannon Act have, are, are, are dug in on this and are, are moving forward. Uh, we, we have some studies, uh, well, we have some pilot programs, some yeah. clinical pilot programs underway uh, that do uh, include an evaluative component. Mm -hmm. I think this is one of those, those uh, sections under the Hannon Act. We are absolutely committed to meet the full intent of, of of Congress in, in implementing this. Uh, there may be some opportunities to, to think about uh, uh, the format for this evaluation that has to be independent. I agree with you. It has to be a, a rigorous and fair evaluation. Uh, but uh, we're also trying to reconcile that with the fact that we have uh, many veterans already engaged in this, and how do we how do we respect uh, their information uh, and also bring that forward into an evaluative process? So this is one of those sections where we're we're totally on board uh, with you and and with the committee in moving forward. But uh, we would like to sit down uh, with you and and have the opportunity to talk about. Uh, some ways that we think we can uh, move this forward, uh, perhaps very quickly, uh, um, that um, we'd like to discuss. Yeah, no, you make a really important point. I think there, there is, you know, there are a number of veterans that have utilized it. Uh, it's probably not been super coordinated. Uh, there's no point in um, losing all of that good data and experience, and it should become part of. Um, the discovery of, of the effects of this while also working with other groups, communities, um, and, and treatment facilities. So I'm all about that. Any way we can get the most good information, evaluate it in an objective way, and come up with an analysis that helps, I'm all about. So I'm grateful for that commitment, and that restatement of commitment, and wanna, wanna be as helpful as I can from my end as well. So, so thank you for that, and with that, Mr. Chairman, I would yield the balance. I want to reiterate a little bit what Senator Kramer said. Uh, dealt with head injuries all my life in football. We had a lot of them, got a lot more of them. And we've had some success with hyperbaric chambers. But, uh, you know, that's for further discussion. I think we should really, anything to help our veterans. I've got a lot of buddies that have gone and come back and can't sleep at night. Uh, explosions in their head. It's just when you can't sleep, uh, you do crazy things.